Hey everybody, in this video we're going to talk about the idea of binary search trees, a very popular data structure that consists of various nodes in parent-child relationships. So as you can see before you, this is a diagram of a binary search tree. Now a binary search tree is just one particular type of tree. And being a binary search tree, there's certain rules that it follows. So as you can see in this diagram laid out before you, at the very top we have a node consisting of the number 20. And we would consider this to be the root node. And this root node is going to be the basis of our tree. Now if you look at the child to the left of the root node, you can see we have a node with the value of 10. And if you look at the child to the right of the root node, you can see that we have a node with the value of 28. So here we can see kind of the rules of the binary search tree. A binary search tree consists of various nodes, which at most have two child nodes. And furthermore, the child node on the left needs to be of a lower value than the parent node, and the child node on the right needs to be of a higher value or a greater value than the parent node. And that's what you can see here. We have the root node of 20, a child node of 10, which is of a lower value than the parent node 20, and we have the child node 28 on the right, which is of a higher value than the root node 20. Now let's continue exploring this tree. Let's continue going down the left side. And here you can see we have that exact same parent-child relationship. We have a node, in this case the 10, with two child nodes, one on the left being of a lesser value, and one on the right being of a higher value. And then if we continue going down the left side, we see that we have this pattern repeated yet again. Five is the parent node, a node of three being of a lesser value on the left, and a six being of higher value on the right. So we can see right off the bat that this binary search tree is recursive by its very nature. We have the same parent-child structure repeating multiple times throughout the tree. Now let's look at this branch of the tree. Here you can see that the number 12 is greater than the number 10, so it's a child node to the right of the parent 10 node, and you can see that the child node to the left of the 12 is a node with the value of 11. And what I want to point out here is that here we only have one child node off of the parent 12 node. And this is okay because the rule is simply that we have no more than two child nodes. And if we continue looking at the tree, here we can see yet again that same parent-child relationship of a parent node with a left child and a right child, the left being of lesser value, the right being of greater value. And we continue on and see it in these bottom parent-child relationships as well. Now here's a cool thing about binary search trees. If we take a look at all the nodes, which are basically on the right side of the tree, so everything to the right of the root node, with the value 20, we can see that all of these nodes have a value greater than the root node. So what that means is, if we want to insert a new node into the tree, or we want to search for one, for example, right from the very start, we can cut the process in half. Because, for example, if we want to search for a node of greater value than the 20, immediately we can eliminate everything to the left of that root node because everything of greater value than the 20 has to be on the right side. And like I said, because the binary search tree is recursive in nature, at every step along the way, we can cut the work in half. Now, if we want to talk in terms of big O notation, a binary search tree has a big O of O log N. So a binary search tree is very good in terms of time complexity. As you can see from this chart here, the time complexity of O log N is better than a linear time complexity. And this is due to the fact that the binary search tree is sorted. It's sorted in this way where we have greater values to the right and lesser values to the left. So thanks for checking out this video on binary search trees. If you like the video, please give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel. I'll see you next time.